Hi, this is Matt with PriceActionTradingSystem.com, and this is our chart lesson for Thursday, May the 3rd. And this is going to be a real fast one today, folks. I, I've got a commitment I've got to uh, make today. My uh, daughter has some things going on at school and had to stay late, and I'm supposed to pick her up today. My wife is uh, uh, busy with something else, so it's my turn to pick up the kid, my young daughter today, and uh, so I'm going to have to run away pretty quickly. But I wanted to at least show you what I saw today and kind of show you a couple of quick clues. Um, obvious, it was pretty obvious the trend line was right here. So this trade, even though this is right at a news item, this trade was obvious. Um, I wanted to show you this too. Here's your first leg down, and if you measure that, you'll see that was your leg. And so that was a clue to be looking for this leg to be of a similar length. And let me just show you that. And you can see... That's exactly where we got to. Then we had the failed break lower, and then prices are trying to reverse now. So um, remember to look for your measured legs, and if this had come up way short, then prices would probably rally. Uh, but this is pretty much a measured move. There's leg one, and if you get this exact, it's probably going to be really close. And then there's leg two right there, and you can see that's exactly where prices got to. Close on the tick, uh, if you're looking at the closes, it's to the tick. And uh, so always remember to look for your legs. And then this is a, let me show you this right here real quick. There's leg one, there's your correction. And look, there's leg two, a perfect measured move. And uh, now there are two legs in this move and two legs in this move. But this looks pretty much like one leg. And then so that gives you a clue where to look for prices to go. And um, and then we also had this little trend line coming across here. So that was another clue. But even if you didn't have these trend lines, you got this support area right across here. And it held right here. And uh, I drew my line right across those closes. And if you look right in here, it caught a lot of the closes. You can see prices reacting on both sides of this line. So that was a good clue. So this was a failed break higher. There's, well, actually, there's your close you're at closer. So you had this double top, and this is just a failed breakout. This is just a two-legged pullback to retest this breakout area, and then prices started their next leg down. And uh, so this is really one big trend down right here. And um, so just be aware of that. But uh, I want to cover something today on our short amount of time. But uh, you got a double top here. The trend's down. This was uh, right around the news item. Uh, so the news probably shot this further, gave this a little extra boost. But you should have been able to find this because there's the line coming off there. Let me back out here a little bit and make this a little larger. Uh, but there's your line right off those three bars up there. And then here we come. We come back and test it with a couple of leg move up. So that's a perfect setup. It's a second entry short. It's a two-legged pullback to the trend line. All the reasons. Uh, that you'd be looking for short and uh, somebody asked me well you know the news could have gone either way yeah it could but uh, uh, the trend is down and the price action is the same regardless of whether there's news or not so you got to be aware of that and, uh, and I'll talk about that again in a more but let's finish the trades this right this little setup here is just a failed second entry long it's a breakout pullback short as well. We were looking for prices to try to come back down here and test these lows, which this would have been down in here by this time, maybe in here. Um, but I would have had it right here off this double bottom, thinking that we're going to retest the double bottom from the overnight, and that's exactly where we bounced. And, uh, yeah, prices could have gone higher from here, but this trend is down, and you got a trend line right here that's valid even before this. You had it off these three bars right here. And uh, you can see that is exactly where it came into play. And then when we broke it, it came right back and tested it and before it went higher. And again, this is a two-legged correction between two bigger legs. And if you went to a, a larger time frame, you wouldn't see all these smaller legs, and you would clearly see a two-legged move here. So, But you got to learn to spot that on this chart. Don't try watching multiple charts. Just learn to spot it on this chart. Um, so there's your first two trades. Here's another short again. You would have had this little double top right across here. And uh, this is a failed break higher, but you've also got this trend line right across here. And uh, and all these trend lines are, are resistance areas and support areas that are slanted. 
So this has been a resistance area right down through here. So we're looking for it again. And you've got you've got the previous support that's now resistance at your back. You've got the trend line. You've got a failed breakout here. All kind of reasons. You're way away from the EMA. You've had a two-legged measured move. There's so many reasons to, you know, if you're not drawing your lines and you don't understand this stuff, you can't figure out why people were thinking to go short right there. But if you understand price action and you looked at all the things I just mentioned, this was an easy trade. It was not a hard trade at all. And um, so, and then here, this trade was real simple as well. You don't need this trend line. Forget that trend line. Look at that resistance, or that, yeah, that resistance across there is a failed break. It's just a repeat of that pattern. Remember me? I talk about repeat patterns. How they, once you see one in the day, they kind of repeat themselves over and over. Uh, somebody else asked me about double tops and double bottoms. What you're doing, the best double tops and best double bottoms are the ones that are counter trends. So in other words, if the trend's down, we're looking for double tops. If the trend's up, we're looking for double bottoms, and then we're fading them. And so you got a double top right here. We faded it. We they, with the trap because that's what's sweet about that. You got the short trap, and that's a nice move down. Then you got a repeat pattern almost right here. Another triple double top, and prices turn. You know, you prices broke out, trap people, and boom. There's your another sell off. This right here is just a breakout pullback from these lows right here. Can you see that now? If you draw that line across there, prices broke lower, pulled back, tested that. And somebody else asked me, how do you know when a breakout pullback is going to be good? Well, you don't. But the trend is down. And, we're, you know, and you've got this nice strong leg right here with a correction. You're probably going to get the other leg. And let me just show you that. There's leg one of, these, of this leg, which was a leg in itself. But there's multiple legs in this leg. There's leg one. And then you move it down here. There's your next leg. You could have measured it from here, but it really started right here because this was a trading range. So there's your next leg down. Perfect measured leg almost. So you got to, you know, somebody else asked me what I mean by twos. The market moves in twos consistently. One leg down, correction, another leg down. Then you got two legs in here that corrected. Then you got two more legs down, which is a second leg from this leg. So it's just twos over and over and over. And that's why double tops work so well because it's two moves up that failed or two moves down that failed. And uh, so remember this stuff. And so this was a breakout pullback short. What is this? Just another double top in a downtrend at the EMA. So it's a second entry short to boot and you got this little tiny, that's a perfect entry right there. Um, because you got this little doji, and it hesitated a minute, and uh, but prices moved on down. All you got out of this one was a scalp, but we knew that, uh, you know, because we already had our measured move from this leg to this leg. So those are the things you got to watch for. But let me do this, and I'm gonna wrap it up, and I'm out of here today. Uh, hopefully, all that makes sense, and I, I know I'm rushing through this, but I'm trying to do this quickly because I think this is important. But uh, I'm getting a lot of questions about the news. And I generally, my first rule of thumb when I'm teaching new traders is don't trade the news because you will get it wrong most of the time and you'll lose money. But having said that, let me say this now. The news does not change the price action. All the news does is cause the price action to move very fast and very quickly, making it very difficult to read from that point on. But prior to this news coming up right here, uh, when prices were down here way before the news came out, you would be thinking, I'm looking for a short off this trend line. And uh, so as soon as one of these two bars set up, you drop your order right there. I would have, You should have already had it right below that right there. I'd be honest with you. And I hate to say this because people will try to do it and they will lose money. It's always best to wait on a trend bar in your direction, but I had just a naked order resting right here at this trend line, waiting on it. The news snapped, things popped, and then things take off. Actually, I was in this. You had time to get in this trade. This trade didn't take off like it did a couple of the other news items have done. Uh, you had time to take this trade, and um, because I don't think the news actually came. I'm trying to remember. It's been a couple, you know, several hours back after several trades. But I believe the news came out once prices were already moving down here. 
you had time to take this trade, but I sold it naked. I just had a resting order there waiting on it and a two-point stop. And you see it did it scared me because it prices went up. It ticked me in right in here and prices broke up. And I thought, oh, maybe I made a mistake. But no, it worked out in my favor all the same. And this was a great trade with a nice run on your – this trade right here made me a bunch of money, made most of my goal for the day. And you should have been looking – you should have been thinking, okay, there's my, my first leg, so let me put this over here. So you should have been thinking somewhere right in here, I need to exit. And look at there, nothing closed down there. When you start getting these overlapping bars, that's your signal. Put your stop right there. If you don't just have a exit order, put your stop right there. And look, you get out at almost the very bottom. No, you get almost that whole move. And that's how you do it. And, uh, and if you, if, if you exit automatically, if prices go a whole lot lower, you miss out. So just start moving. Once prices get right down in this area, getting close, uh, start putting your stop above each bar until one of them stops you out. That simple. And um, somebody else asked me, do I, how do I manage my stops? Do I manage them the same all the time? Uh, no. <laughs> I'm ashamed to say I don't. And uh, I'll be the first one to tell you. Use the same technique all the time because if you try to pick and choose most of the time, you'll be wrong. And um, I'm wrong a lot, but I'm always, I'm constantly, um, and again, I probably shouldn't say this because I don't want to encourage you to do it. I'm trying to help people get on the right track and help people to become profitable. But exiting is not, you know, exiting is important, but it's not as important as entering at the right place. Um, so I guess I'm going to feel comfortable being honest with you that, that uh, yeah I'm always experimenting with my exit sometimes I'll have my order sitting there and if I do if I, if I measured this move and had my stop sitting there guaranteed this thing would have run another 10 or 15 points lower and I'd be kicking myself at the end of the day but when I don't put it there then prices bounce and you know so it doesn't you can't guess and get it right so pick one way that you like that works for you stick with it and you will come out better in the end I guarantee you but you may need to experiment the biggest thing about trading is not there's a lot of ways to get to the same place just like I was telling you this right here there was a lot of ways to see this trade whether or not you had your uh, trend line where was my trend line but anyway uh, we'll just draw, use this one, you know, whether or not you had that trend line right there that found that or whether or not you used the breakout pullback or whether or not you used the uh, two-legged measured move, however you did it, you know, there were several ways to get there. And hopefully you got them all because that really makes it good. I mean, when you got more than one reason to enter a trade, that's, uh, that's a great reason to enter. If you can find two or more reasons to enter, that just makes the trade that much stronger. And um, that's what I call confluence. Uh, when you get confluence, you better be, it's telling you something. And uh, you better be thinking and taking that trade. So, but regardless of how you got there, there was multiple ways to find this trade here. And that's what I want you to see. Uh, it, you know, you may not see all these trend lines because you may not be good enough at, at picking them out yet. And uh, this thing is getting long and I need to get out of here. But uh, I hope everybody had a good trading day. And this was a fairly simple trading day. It wasn't very difficult. You could have gotten fooled right in here. But, um, you know, that's the first break of the trend line. And so this was a second entry short. Actually, right here was a second entry short. Um, and if you took this one, it might have, I think it even worked. Let's just see if there was, if you waited for the red bar, no, there was not enough room to get out. If you went short on the green one, there was still not enough room. So, you might have got tripped up right there, and I can understand that because that's a little more difficult to see because the trend is down, and we're coming back to the EMA and the uh, trend line. So generally, you're going to turn down there, especially after two legs up. But uh, if you measured this leg, you would know that uh, you know there was we we should have been trying to get another leg that was equal. We were we were at least. Coming back, what you need to remember is even if you had this way down here, what you should have been thinking was we're at least trying to come back to here. So once you start getting these overlapping bars, the odds are they're going to fail and run up and then fail on this side and trap everybody just like they did. But they ran it up a couple of times uh, before they 
actually got it, you know, got it to reverse. And uh, but what it was was most people, most of your smarter traders, were looking at that measured leg, knowing that this leg was going to be the same. And look at there. So anyway, I'm going to wrap it up. But but again, going back to the news, let me say this, and then I'm quitting. Um, the news doesn't change the price action. The price action is still valid. Price action entries still work the same. And uh, so you, you just have to understand that what happens during the news is sometimes it gets really, really crazy and things move real fast. And, uh, and that actually brings up one more point about this area right here. Let me tell you this. And it doesn't always hold true, but I would say 80% percent plus of the time when you get a big move which is like this at the news when the news happens and you get a big move sometime within the next hour or two prices are going to take all that back they may continue on the way the original trend did but and that's what part of this was look they took all of that back to right where the news hit right in there right in this area um, and look that's exactly where it came back to I don't know why don't ask me why I think it's because the market gets emotional and it moves further and faster than people expect and so it like comes back and resets itself and starts over again <laughs> I mean I'm throwing darts at a wall to be honest with you but that's my personal theory of why it does that and uh, I wish I knew exactly why but that's been my you know I've watched it for thousands and thousands of chart hours and I've seen it happen over and over and over again so I know it's true I'm not making it up I can't explain why it happens other than, like I said, I think that the market just comes back and resets itself and starts over because it got, it's real emotional and it moves real fast and it sometimes moves too far too fast and things and so it just kind of like the market says okay and uh, it re comes back and it resets itself and it starts over and then it, you know, the market trend keeps going down. So um, anyway, I don't know if that's why but that's that's my personal theory. And I got to get out of here. I hope everybody had a good day. We'll see you tomorrow. It's Friday. And uh, get ready for the weekend. And uh, hopefully you'll have a good trading day tomorrow. And I'll see you next time. This is Mac with PriceActionTradingSystem.com.